Hi, my name is Joseph and I'm going to use this opportunity to show you how to calculate um, equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Again, I'm going to use this opportunity to show you how to get your equilibrium price and your equilibrium quantity. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say we were given these two equations. To find the equilibrium price, we're going to use this formula. SP is equal to the P. So, we have for SP, we have for your supply, you have negative 280 plus 40P. And for the demand, you have 800 minus 50. So collect the lag times. What I mean by collecting the lag times is this guy right here has to go and meet this guy right here. They have to marry each other. So and taking this dude right here to this beautiful lady, you have to do this. Eight hundred plus two eighty. This sign has to change to plus when it's coming to me, this lady. So, is equal to 40p um, plus 50p. Also, this one too has to change when it's coming to me, this guy right here. Because when you are crossing the bridge, I call it the bridge. When you are crossing the bridge, you have to, the sign has to change. Even if this one is addition, it has to change to minus sign. And when it's a minus sign, it has to change to addition. So that's what happened over here. So when you had this dude and this lady together, to give you 1080. And the same thing right here, we give you 90p. So when you divide both sides by 90, Let's do that. Divide by 90. Divide by 90. It will give you your P will be $12. Price is always in dollar sign. It's always in dollar sign. Don't forget that. So that's the price. So to calculate the quantity, equilibrium quantity, you have to take one of those two equations that were given at the beginning of the the beginning to get your quantity you can take the one at the top or the one at the below let's take the difficult one which is negative 280 plus 40 all over 12 why did I put 12 anywhere you see P you have to put 12 in it so P take the value of 12. The same thing if you take the second equation. I mean, I'm talking about the demand. Now I'm using the price, I mean the supply equation. So if we use the demand equation, we're still gonna arrive at the same at the same quantity. At the same quantity figure. So taking the supply figure, let me put this. You're gonna give us minus 280 plus 480 so negative 280 plus 480 we give you 200 so that's our quantity so for every 12 dollars you get 200 quantity also we can take demand equation we will take the demand equation which is 800 negative 50 and you put your 12 in it which is the price so 800 minus 12 multiplied by 50 will give you 600 that is also 200 quantity thank you so we arrive at the same quantity answer thank you guys and um, please subscribe
comment and um, I will ask any question and I will respond. Again, my name is Joseph and thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.